In preparation for the arrival of our Jersey calves, we got to create a corral and shelter for them. So we have some cattle panels and some corral panels that we picked up at the farm store. And we're going to go ahead and lay those out and get started. barely missed that hole. We're now going to open up our corral shelter kit from Shelter Logic and lay out the pieces before we put them on top of our corral panels. It's amazing they get this whole thing in one little box. According to the manual, it should take plus or minus one hour with four people. What is our time thing you think it's going to take us? Well, there's only two of us, so I'm going to say two hours. All right. So the first thing we did was lay out all the pieces. Stacy is sorting bolts, and we just made sure that we had everything. Now we're moving on to assembly. Here are the instructions, and here are the laid out pieces, ready to bolt together. While putting together these top ribs, you have to make sure that the two end ribs have the bolts facing in so they don't snag on the fabric because it wraps around on the edges. Stacy is finishing putting together the top frame and according to the instructions it's as easy as just picking it up and putting on the crowd panels. We'll see how that goes. We noticed on one uh, piece here that it's a little rough on the top and we don't want the rough parts to wear through the cover so we're going to go ahead and put a couple pieces of Tyvek tape across here just to smooth it out. The next step is putting in the ground anchors. One thing that is not included in the kit are the ropes you need to pull it over. Now we have everything laid out, we're going to put in the poles and get ready to hoist it over. Now we have the cover on and strapped down, we have to put on the corner pieces. Like this? Yep. We've completed our Shelter Logic Corral Shelter, and overall I'm pretty pleased with it. Uh, the frame is well built. Uh, we were able to assemble it, uh, the two of us, in almost exactly two hours. So that's good. Uh, the only thing I could say probably in the future is the cover. The cover won't last as long as the frame, so in a couple years we'll probably have to get a new cover. To create a temporary corral in front of our shelter, we're using cattle panels and we're attaching them with hose clamps. To finish up our corral area, we hung a gate. We also got the shelter enclosure kit and we're going to put some 
wire around the crowd panels and the front gate to help to protect from dogs and coyotes. To make the corral more sturdy, we applied hose clamps in the corners and it really did firm it up. Stacy is wrapping the hose clamps in electrical tape. That'll make it safer for the animals and also so it won't rub against the enclosure kit we're about to put on. We are now finishing putting around the garden fence wire. We've been attaching that with heavy duty zip ties. Now it's time to put up the enclosure kit pieces. I will wrap around the cattle panels and make it a nice sun and rain shelter. The back part of this shelter at the top has to loop underneath the already assembled brackets. So you have to loosen the bracket and so that the rope will fit underneath it. We got the back panel on and now we have to overlap the top panel over it and tighten it back down. We're starting on the side panels now, laying them out and temporarily hanging them with two zip ties before we put the line through. We went ahead and attached the two side pieces first and ended up cutting the line that goes through it because trying to put line all the way through all the way around the corral would be very time consuming and annoying. Final step is to put back on these little corner pieces that go over the ratchet straps. We did it! We got up our Shelter Logic corral panel cover thingy. It's going to be our temporary barn for this next about a year and a half. And it costs us all together for the kit plus the three corral panels about $500. So that was really good for us, I think, for and, how long we're going to use it. And that's including the side enclosure kit as well. Some takeaways were things that we mentioned when we were building it, which is always make sure that you're keeping the bolt head on the outside so it's not rubbing against the fabric and we had already put up the top and then we went and bought the side panels so it might have been easier to do those together at the same time the upper back panel for the enclosure kit goes over the rib but under the top cover and so we had to actually uh, loosen up and remove the top color cover pull it back to put on that upper rear panel and another thing we did was we used uh, zip ties to help temporary hold things. That was very helpful. But very happy with our purchase and we think we're going to get a lot of use out of it. We also created a little corral area in front of our structure. We had an old gate and some old fence posts so we just had to buy two of the cattle panels. I think that was about 50 to $60 for the two of those. And now we have a nice structure waiting for our new calves that we're going to get at the end of April.